Hey YouTube! Welcome back to our channel. It's been a little while since we uploaded videos, but we have been on vacation. I'm visiting family in South Carolina, and so we are finally home. We've done a little bit of fishing, but we didn't really take any video of that because we were just having fun being out on the water. So we'll get back to posting some fishing videos here soon. But right now, we're going to be focusing on um, transitioning or I guess transforming our van so we are going to try to change the flooring out in our van and we thought that we would share a video with all you guys in case you know you might have a floor transit and be thinking about changing out the floor Okay, so here is our van. We have a Ford Transit. It's a 15 passenger. Um, we're vacuuming it out right now just so we can get as much off of the floor as we can. We do not have these two seats in here regularly, so right now there's only 13 seats in our van. Um, we took these two seats out a while ago so we could put groceries and our fishing rods and all that kind of stuff, and those seats are in our garage. Um, actually, they're not in our garage, they're in our bedroom closet. <laughs> um, but I am also thinking about taking these other two seats out. Um, we are, we need nine seats for ourselves, plus two seats for Mimi and Papa um, whenever we go places. So. Um, we really don't need these two back seats, and it would be kind of, at least take one of them out. I'm not sure about both of them, but they have to be un unbolted. So we'll see if we decide to do that or not. This is the flooring that we've gotten. Um, we're not really sure if it's going to work, so we're actually, this um, flooring is flooring that Mimi and Papa had left at their house. Um, from when they put some flooring down and we have I believe how many boxes five boxes of it That'd be tw That's 25 wood of these wood planks. Yes, yeah, so we have 25 of these wood planks. We're not sure if it's gonna work or not So we're gonna measure we wanted to try it out before we actually went and purchased the floor now We were already planning to do our floor um, but when we saw that me and Papa had some wood flooring at their house. We just thought that we would um, try it first before we went out and spent money on the floor. So first, we are just going to lay them out to count to see how many pieces that we actually have to make sure that Mimi and Papa had enough in their garage for us to actually lay down on the floor. So that's what we're going to do now. We are going to just lay them out and count and see how it goes. Well, if you do that, then you wouldn't be able to end along. How long are they going this way? Not long enough. Okay, but would one fit back there? Probably take two back there. One and a half probably. See, it's just going to be like a Tetris game to see how it goes. Um, to see if these will even work. And that one will have to be cut. It's going to be so much better with a wood flooring though. So, so far we've gone through two boxes and it's only taken up this front part right here. We have five boxes. So, I'm not sure if we're going to have enough. And they're probably too thick, but they were free. So, we're going to try them anyway. Mimi and Papa are not ever going to use them. And they gave them to us. So, we're going to try it. And this will be our, this, will, this can be our test run. 
and cutting and putting it down. If it ends up being too thick, then we just go get something else. Well, a lot of videos don't tell you everything in between about the thickness you have to buy, about how many boxes. They just show you what brand they bought. Yay! Yeah. So that's one of the reasons why we're making this video is because we want to show real time what we've tried. You better be careful there, bud. Okay. What we've tried, what didn't work, how we had to do this. And plus, we wanted to take the <laughs> seats out of the van in a way because the van needs to be cleaned. There's something got spilled over there on the wall. There he is a marker. So we're going to clean all this out. Clean the van today and then... Um, even though these may be too thick and we might not have enough of them, we're still going to um, be able to see how many we do need. Like how many boxes of whatever we do need. So, or, you know, I am like the queen of making things work. I recommend taking headrests off for your loop seats. <laughs> if you have a little headrest or TV. So, anyway. So take your headrest off if you're trying to take seats out. Paper. But Not in the car. I am the queen of making things paper. work. So we might make these work and then I'll figure something else out for the rest of the carpet that don't work. <laughs> we might build something else to cover the carpet that cover the place that won't have any more carpet. Probably put a bed or we in could there. just super glue some carpet. Put a bed in there. You get some seats out. Well we still want to be able to put our fishing poles and stuff in there. I might not put we might not put the seats back in the back though. We'll see because I do want some more stores. Oh. We're gonna just continue to take you along with this journey. We just need two of them He's um, getting the seats, back seats out. Now in the Ford Transit, if you have one, you know that some of the seats are gonna Top have to be the toolbox. Um, a red container. Some of them have to be unbolted, like I said. So that's what he's doing right now. I'm bolting the seats, and um, it looks really fun. I need to get out here. This is another thing is that the next time we buy one, we will be buying a high roof or at least a mid roof. <laughs> yeah. Right? Lessons learned. Yeah. So our Honda Odyssey that's sitting outside might get traded in for a mid roof. <laughs> Who knows? You got my water cup. Water is good for your body. Mm -hmm. All right, so all the seats are out. We have a whole lot of room in this van. So really nice. We do recommend the 15 passenger Ford Transit here. <sighs> this is actually my favorite car to drive. Now I loved my Honda Odyssey to have bought this Transit. And I'll probably never own anything else. Well, on a couple of these, we'll have a whole lot of grandkids, I hope. <laughs> That's a long time for now. So we're going to use the rest of this to try to figure out how much more we need before we actually get into um, taking our car completely apart. <laughs> Okay, so we are going to attempt now to start um, seeing if this hardwood will work. Now, we think it might, it probably is too thick, but we're going to see how it comes out to be compared to the vinyl that you can buy at the store. I don't think it's that much more of a thickness, um, but we're going to see. And we're just going to start at the front. Pulling this out, ripping the carpet out, and thankfully we don't have anywhere that we have to go, so I can still go to the store while the kids don't have to be in their seats. So we're going to take the carpet out and see um, what we can come up with with the free floor that we have. So we've gotten one piece out. Now he's working on grabbing the carpet. So here we're just going to grab the carpet and pull it off of the plywood. And hopefully it'll come it easier slow. than not. So we're not out here all afternoon. 
The kids have fixed sandwiches and they're getting ready to eat peanut butter and jelly and Tucker is still having a good time over there. Bye, da, 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 da. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody wants to say mama until they do and then I'd prefer they not. But that's life. <laughs> so we're just gonna pull this carpet out. See how quickly it comes. How you feeling, babe? Like we shouldn't have started this. Well, guess what? We already started, so we're in it to win it at this point. Oh, that looks beautiful. Just at this point, just keep going, love. Y'all, pulling this carpet out is no joke. We have closed doors on the air conditioner. Hey, Dad might pop you. Come sit over here with Mom. He won't mean to pop you, but he might slip. Oh my goodness. I don't know how long it's been, but y'all, this is too much, too much. Sort of yeah, YouTubers out there, be real, okay? Be real, because nobody's video we watched said anything about this. Y'all cut all this stuff out, and it's like, oh, that took 45 minutes. <laughs> well, I don't know how long it has taken, but oh my goodness, they probably don't post this because people won't do it. It's like if they watch this. Rips. Oh, well, good. Because I don't have to. Oh, okay, so might come out a little bit quicker then. And we're hating on the YouTube people who probably use bass scripts. And didn't say that. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> use bass <my> scripts. <laughs> Woo! So we're halfway done. And about to sweat to death. I'm sitting in the glue on this side to hold the plywood down so it doesn't snap while he pulls. Oh, we missed one. Yeah, and they just pop up. I'll pop the other ones out. Oh my gosh, y'all. The Legos are just. Oh my gosh. So, not only are we planning to change out the floor to make it hardwood. But we are also um, going to install our toilet somehow in the van. Like permanent. Yeah, like permanent. Well, not permanent because we want to be able to take it out and dump it, but a place for it to actually sit and it be that place. Um, we were using the little white toddler toilet um, before. Kind of And well. yeah, I did not enjoy sitting on a toddler <laughs> toilet to pee. <laughs> when we went to Mimi and Papa's house, not only did we find the hardwood flooring, laminate flooring, from their old house. Yeah, from their old house, but we also found their camping toilet. They no longer camp. So, yay, yeah, we have a nice toilet that we can actually use now. So, we're going to find a way to put that in the car because we actually do keep it in our car all the time because the kids, uh, you know, after the COVID 19 and. Um, <laughs> Lamb being deployed, and I had the kids with me all the time. You know the These kids have not been in a public restroom in a long time, so we don't use public restrooms anymore. We use the toilet in the car, which is great. I even use the toilet in the car. Mimi has used the toilet in the car, and so we all use the toilet in the car. We're gonna put that down somewhere, and also we're gonna try to get some storage, maybe under the seats That's or. Yeah, we're looking for storage, okay? Storage. With all these children, we need some storage. So, <laughs> I'm super glad that we, you know, did this because now we're right. able to learn our car and see what we can and cannot do inside of it. All right, so we've got Jackson and Dad pulling and I'm sitting in the glue. They're gonna just keep on pulling. Oh, we've almost got it out, more than halfway done. So along with the storage, babe, I saw a video about how we could take this headrest out, or what is this called, a headliner out? What do you mean headliner? And change it up. You mean this? We're gonna put some tweed in here. Be really cool. Get back in the 90s. Yeah. What? Thought about putting some shag carpet in here or some something like that. Some tweed and some skylights. Do something about <laughs> that. We do need to hang up our Christmas lights. We have some blinking Christmas lights that the kids enjoy. Beach. Dance to the radio. <laughs> so we need to put those up. They follow beats. Even though it's like December. 
middle of December. Woo, he caught that. We got that one. So, this is what it really looks like. We're not going to edit this because all the videos I've watched have edited this. We are not editing the good <laughs> stuff. <laughs> so, you can actually taste. see. And if you want to leave a comment below to tell us what we're doing wrong, if it did not take you this long or it was not this much of a big issue, then you just comment below and say, why in the world didn't you try this and tell us what you did differently so that when we get a new van and we change the flooring out, we'll have a better method of doing it. But they're knocking it out and so hopefully we'll get it pulled out the rest of the way now. Somebody, we're, paying somebody to do this next time. we're not gonna pay anybody. Free, free, <laughs> free. We're learning to be frugal. Free, free, free. That? Oh, that was a vent. Oh. Lord, we done forgot. Are all the vents up? Y'all, take your vents nope. out your floors. <laughs> Get one. We forgot to take the vents out the floors. Please pop the vents out. Thank you. Okay. All right. So. Finally, the carpet is out. Okay, that was rough. And I said, let's clean this up a little bit. He said, we're going to take the floor, the uh, stuff out right here, but it's not that easy to take out because we couldn't get that piece up down there. But he's taking the jack out now. I'm super glad that we decided to do this because the kids were playing with the bait. Oh, and that, there is one of the worms right there. got a package down there, floor. too. Candy so we're getting ready to find out what's actually Stop. up under the plywood in our van and hopefully vacuum it out. Okay, so we've taken the floor and lifted it up. And we are vacuuming up under it. There's a whole lot of Cheez-Its. Cheez-It crackers under there. And Tuck Tuck is just enjoying himself. And so they've pretty much got it vacuumed out at this point. Then we're going to lift this up a little bit and um, see if we can vacuum that side out as well. Okay, you guys. We have two planks in so far. Looks like it might work, but this is going to be what tells whether or not this is going to work. So I've done our drawings here. And so he just got the saw out. She's handling Tucker. Hey, dear good man. And then, um, he is going to attempt, he's going to get a clamp. He is going to cut the pieces out of this first plank. And we are going to do these one by one because we are really nervous this is we got these boxes for free they're the only ones that we have and so we really want to make sure that we take our time and put them in correctly do them one by one because this is all we have um, so yeah it's really fun our family projects. Don't know where the little kids went. Don't know where the middle kids are. But the big kids are out here and the baby's out here. And um, it's a nice Saturday in South Georgia. So we only have one, two, three, four, uh, five. Oh, we have plank. six planks down. So that's not too bad. We're doing pretty good. Six planks down. It's looking real nice, fitting real well. So we're just going to keep going and see if we can get the rest of this line at least done tonight. We are ordering pizza. So that took a little bit of stress off. Okay, so it is the end of the first day. We have got one row of hardwood flooring in. The seat fits everything fits we only had some issues with one of the planks and so we had to cut a separate second plank so we'll see what God chooses to do about that because um, we just turned that over to him we weren't sure if we were going to have enough planks to begin with and now we have had to cut an extra 
So we'll see um, how it ends up working out. Okay, so it's day two of putting the floor in the van. And I just wanted to show what I'm doing here to make my stencils because we have to put this hardwood floor down around these edges right here. So I'm taking construction paper, the giant construction paper, and I laid a piece down right here and I just moved it around and traced it as I moved it like that. Then I took another piece because these are long planks and I just laid it down and I traced it right there. You're going to come show them what I'm talking about? Thank you. I traced it around there and then just moved the paper around to get the stencil that's going to go onto the piece of wood. So this will get cut out and then we will lay this on top of the plank and cut out as much of it as we need to for the piece of planking that's going to be right here on this edge. So let's see how that works. All right, so this is how the construction paper is laying down. So it should be a perfect, or as good as it's going to get, stencil of that piece that's going to lay right here. And actually, this piece right here, our planks are about this long, so I only need this. So we'll just cut this end off of the plank, and I'll continue to use this stencil for the next one. the new floor you're rolling around did you get caught under the seat all right so we have almost finished this um, spot right here we're trying to get around the edge so this is the piece that we're doing and then we have one more piece right here on the edge and our scraps fit in really really well right here so everything's looking good so far bud here let me close the door and cut the air conditioner on <laughs> okay so we've got the floor down seats fit and we're putting this last chair in now this back part we're not doing right now so getting ready to put this in we realize that there is no hole in the floor there's one there's one hole right there but not yeah. two holes up there there should be a left and a right on each side of that vent for the left and right of this chair. <laughs> so apparently we did not cut out one of the holes. And he just finished bolting that seat out. <laughs> so now we get to take the floor up right there and figure out how to cut the bolt or cut the hole. <laughs> so that's I where we are. Supposed to be a hole y'all supposed to come. Everything like else is working out though. So we're almost finished with the front part. This is our living area up here where we get comfort. It is. And this back here is going to be like our storage area. We're going to put the toilet right there, the potty, porta potty. We're going to anchor it down right there, and then have some storage back here. But can't get to that because we can't finish project one. <laughs> but we're going to get it right, babe. Okay, you want this one? Yep, we're gonna get yep. 
Okay, we keep doing this at night, but we get finished later on in the day. So our hardwood flooring is done. The kids' seats are done up front. And we've got the hardwood flooring done here with some more kids' seats. And then back here, we We've gotten the hardwood flooring done until this point. But this is going to be where we install Hello. our porta potty. So we're not doing this right now. I'm not sure if we're going to do it tomorrow um, either. Um, we we're planning on fishing tomorrow. So we probably will not get around to finishing this part because we have to measure out a platform for the porta potty get the rest of the floor laid down so i'm not sure when we get done but we are finished with part one of the van all the seats are in we can go and use the van and it's really not that big of a deal so just you know stay tuned for us uploading our next video which will be part two of this van modification if you have any comments for how we've done this or how we can make it easier going forth, just leave them down below. And thank you for following us along. Following along with us. So. Yeah. Happy fishing tomorrow.